Hi everyone, CG Seb here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a low poly object from this high poly object composed of uh, a few parts. So right now, uh, this object, so all the parts, are 30,000 triangles. And whenever you want to import an object into a game engine, like Unreal Engine or um, Unity, for example, you want to have the lowest triangle possible uh, so you optimize your scene. Uh, to do that, whenever I have a fluent object like this one, uh, the, the workflow is pretty simple. The idea is to uh, select the fluent object and to hide the Boolean. So here I would like to bake this, 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 here, here, and here. And this also will be baked. So those details will be baked into the texture and we don't need them in the real geometry. So to fix that uh, and transform it into a low poly, you can just for the moment hide all the parts that are inside uh, the parts you want to bake. So we have this shape and now we're gonna select the top part and just in the Boolean modifiers, we can just hide the ones that are composed. So right now this is very simple. I can just hide this one, but I will show you, uh, you can just hide them individually like so. And so here you have like an overlap because the bottom part is actually uh, another object so you can hide it. And here you are, you have a low poly object but you still have uh, the modifiers on the right. To transform it into a final object, you're gonna need to press F and then hold the Alt key and press this button here, the flag. What it will do, it will apply all the modifiers and because I press Alt when clicking on the flag, I just keep the outer bevel. And this will allow me to put it at one segment to lower even more the uh, triangles in the scene. And we started from 30,000 triangles and now we are at 260 triangles. So that's a very high optimization. And whenever you are completing an object, so when you press, uh, sorry, when you press F and you click on this button, this will this call uh, the autocomplete, and whenever you do that, Fluent is actually creating seams. You can see the red lines to uh, unwrap your object. So now, if I go to the UV editor and select everything, everything is unwrapped for you. Um, this is done automatically, so this is not always the base uh, unwrap you can do. So you can pretty much. Um, update it yourself and add more themes if you want to uh, optimize the, the UV packing, of course, and then uh, you can optimize here the UV yourself. But um, most of the time Fluent is doing a pretty good job for the first step. So I always UV unwrap it before applying here the bevel. Uh, this is easier for me to unwrap it like that. So now the next step is pretty simple. Uh, you put this as one segment and then you apply those two modifiers and you have a perfectly uh, low poly object. If you want to export it into Unreal or another software, don't forget to use the triangulate here and this will actually uh, triangulate the object. So if you go to wire mode, you can see it creates 
more lines. This works better with Game Engine or if you want to export it to Substance Painter, for example. So that's the part for the low poly. So then you can just export here as an FBX and uh, do selected object only and then you can export as FBX. Um, so that's for the low poly object. So I'm going to rename this low. And now let's say you want to make an high poly mesh. Uh, so you're going to need to actually select this and enable again all the booleans that you disabled earlier. And we are back with our fluent object, but you cannot uh, export it like this and this is not uh, this is not fully optimized for substance painter or another um, software that you you can use so export them so I'm not going to show you all the parts but then you can export all uh, the, the parts that you have here and you just need to press F and click on the flag to make it destructive and this becomes uh, a mesh that is exportable because then you can just triangulate it and then you can apply it and you have a triangulate mesh and export it as FBX. So, so that's how I usually do. Um, usually I don't create a high poly into Blender because I'm not exporting the high poly into Substance Painter. Uh, I do the baking from the high poly to the low poly directly in Blender. So whenever you do that, you don't even need to actually complete the object. Uh, that's a very nice uh, advantage that you have when you are baking within Blender. Uh, you can actually keep the fluent object here, the non-destructive object. You can keep them and uh, bake directly them into the low poly you just created. So that's, uh, that's something that saves you a lot of time when you are not using Substance Painter, for example. And uh, for the baking and the texturing, I'm using an add-on that is Fluence Materializer. And it does have here a panel to actually bake uh, the, the high poly into the low poly. And that's, uh, that's working uh, pretty well. So for example, here is a result that I had in the baking of this model. So I baked the high poly into the low poly directly into uh, Blender with Fluent Materializer. And as you can see, it works uh, pretty well. So that's uh, the very nice things to do uh, whenever you're creating game assets to optimize them. So yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one.